Florida Surgeon General Dr. Joseph Ladipo on Friday publicly stated he now recommends against vaccinating any male in the state of Florida aged 18 through 39 with a COVID vaccine because of an increased incidence in cardiac related death. Now that's a bombshell statement and recommendation to make. So if you want a quick summary of this video, here it is. A recent analysis referenced by Florida's Surgeon General, Dr. Ladipo, identified an important relationship between cardiac-related mortality and those who received a dose of an mRNA COVID vaccine from either Pfizer or Moderna. This analysis included most individuals 18 or older who resided in the state of Florida. That said, the most controversial result from this analysis revealed an 84% increase in relative incidence of cardiac-related death in those aged 18 through 39, one to 28 days post mRNA vaccination. Anyways, the details matter, so stay tuned. Before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell on the bottom right hand corner so you can be notified when my new videos come out. Also, click my social links in the description below if you want more content like this. I post extra exclusive content on Substack and Patreon. Also, if you're interested, I have YouTube memberships now that give you access to more exclusive content, so just click the join button above. Anyways, let's get into this. Just so you know, the day after Florida Surgeon General Dr. Joseph Ladipo tweeted his new COVID vaccine recommendation publicly on Twitter, it was taken down. Twitter said the data he presented on increased cardiac deaths in those aged 18 through 39 post mRNA vaccination was misinformation. By around noontime on Sunday, his tweet was put back up by Twitter and was no longer considered misinformation. Okay. Let's start here. I'm going to pull up my Substack post that breaks this analysis down so we can go over it together. One second, hold on. Okay, I'm going to highlight this first paragraph. One second. So again, this analysis explained how there was an 84% increase in relative incidence of cardiac related deaths in males within 28 days post mRNA vaccination. So the Surgeon General made an announcement, as you can see right here, recommending against vaccinating males aged 18 through 39. That because he felt the risks outweighed the reward from vaccination. Let me read you a quote. As you can see, this letter to the public from Dr. Ladapo states, quote, with a high level of global immunity to COVID-19, the benefit of vaccination is likely outweighed by this abnormally high risk of cardiac related death among men in this age group. So let's talk about the details. Now, I want to shift your attention to this image on the right side of the screen. There are three red lines. As you can see here, the name of the group in question reads 18 through 39 comma male comma mRNA, meaning men aged 18 through 39 who receive the dose of an mRNA vaccination in this analysis. Moving on, if you move your attention to the center, this number 20 is the number of cardiac related deaths that occurred in this group during the risk period. Now to the far, far right, you see the reference, which is 1.84 with a 95% confidence interval ranging from 1.05 through 3.21. 1.84 means there was an 84% increase in relative incidence of cardiac related death after taking a COVID vaccine in this age group. Now, if that number was under one, say 0.75, that would imply the mRNA vaccine had a protective effect against cardiac mortality. Now, another important point, when you look at the range of this confidence interval, it does not cross one. Instead, it ranges from 1.05 through 3.21, which is wide compared to the other confidence interval ranges in the study, but still makes this a statistically significant finding given the context of the data in this analysis. Anyways, to sum things up, the data revealed a statistically significant 84% increase in cardiac related death following COVID vaccination in young males aged 18 to 39. That's it. Now the bad, there were a lot of flaws with this study. Even the author recognized some, but I feel the greatest takeaway from this data, regardless of any flaw, is that this kind of trend has been seen over and over again in many peer reviewed studies. That being, there seems to be an increase in cardiac related events in young males after COVID vaccination, like myocarditis, cardiac death, and lethal arrhythmias. Here are the flaws. This study used nonspecific ICD-10 billing codes to identify cardiac death. The ICD-10 
codes were I-30 and I-52, otherwise categorized as one, other forms of heart disease, and two, acute pericarditis. Next, the N number was small. It was only 20, meaning only 20 cardiac deaths occurred after vaccination in the age range 18 through 39. It's difficult to extrapolate out from that or make population level assumptions on such a small number, which isn't reflective of the population as a whole. After all, it's only 20. It's not 2,000. It's not 20,000, which would paint a much broader picture. Finally, there was no independent control group. Each individual served as their own control and treatment group. Essentially, the six-month follow-up of each individual after vaccination was used as a control when the risk period was 1 through 28 days following COVID vaccination. Anyways, those are the facts. We still need more data on this, but if there's anything you would like to learn about in the future, please leave it in the comment section below, and I'll see you on the next one.